Good morning, adventurers. We're on another adventure. <laughs> uh, we're out at Bass Lake today. Uh, guys, first of all, I want to apologize for not uh, posting videos as often as I was. Uh, just hunting season's around the corner. Work's been crazy. Uh, we have gone out a couple times. Got some footage here and there. I've just been so busy uh, that I haven't had a chance to really edit the videos. But we got a special video today. I'm actually going to be here in a few. You'll, you'll see it. We're going to do a bunch of clips of the past trips that we have. Wanted to kind of do a little con contemplation on all the trips we did. We did um, Mammoth Pools. We did Shaver. Uh, we, huh, I'm sorry? Corright. Corright. Yeah. We did a bunch of uh, deals. As you saw probably uh, during this video, you'll probably see that we actually had to dip out on Corright early on that trip. And guess what? I'm actually getting a hit right now as we speak so I think I got one guys anyways <laughs> well that was a good start we gotta oh you gotta hit <laughs> gotta hit so that's a good uh, way to start sorry about that guys uh so anyways uh so we're gonna do like a contemplation on a bunch of different filming of the past trips we did on this video and uh, hopefully catch some fish today to get some footage for you guys. My dad's using his broken back like always. I've been using my uh, spinners, as you can see here. I got my gold, or sorry, gold, green. And then I'm running a green and orange kind of wedding ring with a worm. So um, I'm gonna cut it out so I can get re, uh, re warmed up and throw it back out and hopefully get some footage. But hopefully you guys enjoy this contemplation contemplation of all these catches and all these footage that we got past lakes anyways guys we'll see you hopefully soon in a minute when we catch some more fish eee. adventures but today we're fishing the Courtright Reservoir first time taking the boat on the lake this is actually our first time on the lake well technically second but first time fishing it so we're both using broken back Rapalas. I'm using a brookie trout he's using a brown trout style like probably about you know that long throwing on some downriggers uh, we've been getting some some sort of signs every so often about 10 20 feet changing up our speeds and uh, Hopefully we're we'll getting some hits today. Yeah, it's only seven right now. Only seven o'clock. Got here this morning before the sun rose up. It was pretty dang chilly. <laughs> we're all wearing shorts and shorts like really thin clothing, but but hopefully we'll be catching you some fish today. Hopefully we'll catch a big one. Me and my dad's both been really antsy to catch a decent trout or decent brown. But our last trip we did uh, mammoth pools, and I'll show you guys some clips from that. We didn't really film very much. Uh, it was a lot going on. It was super windy, choppy. But uh, I'll show you those clips right now. What's up, guys? Uh, I caught my first fish. I'm an idiot and forgot to uh, hit the record button. But uh, guess what? I caught my first fish, and it is a brown. Heck yes. Uh, no, I think I might let him go. Let him get bigger. No, put him in a live well for now. Put him in a live well for now. Let's keep him. All right, hold on guys. He's decent. There we go. All right guys, I'm gonna put him in the live wall. You guys wanna see what he, how big? Not super, super big, but he's decent brown. I'll take a brown any day. All right guys, well hopefully we'll see you on the next one. Yeah, he's nice. Oh, he's a nice fish. Oh, and watch your drag. Don't, don't let him pull it. You're barely hooked on him. Oh, he's nice, dude. Oh, that's a big brown. That's a big brown. Is it? Yeah, that's a brown, oh, dude. Oh, dude. <laughs> He's freaking nice. Let's go. Get her done. That's a nice that's brown. That's a freaking nice. Boy, they're freaking lazy when they're Yeah. Hitting. All right, let me get the priors. Woo. Here, hold the net. Got it. <clears throat> dude. 
What did I do with the pliers? There's a lot of freaking browns in here, dude. What did I do with the pliers? Oh, there right they are. <laughs> All right, guys, we caught our second fish. My dad caught a really nice freaking brown just now. Oh, you got your chest one on? Yep. Of course, it wanted to lean. Oh, it just oh, came off. Sweet. Nice. What depth were you at? Oh, 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 You're oh, at 20. Oh, got, got hooked again. You're at 20. I was going pretty fast, huh? You I was going 2.2. 2.2. Like cool. <laughs> oh, All right. dude, he's freaking nice. That's a nice brown. That's a very nice brown. <sighs> Who's got some teeth? Put the big ones. Yeah, put the big put ones the big on the left. On this side. Sweet. Oh, dude. He's nice. <laughs> oh, yes. So that was the fish that we caught. A couple, mostly all browns the entire day. It was a pretty actually phenomenal day. When we got here in the morning, it was just pure glass, which I'm sure you saw the clip. Yeah, never even caught one rainbow. It was all browns. Never caught one rainbow. I think the biggest, I think the longest one we caught was what, like 21, 22 oh, inches? About 24 inches. Yeah, and it was crazy because we actually caught an albino brown, which is kind of odd. The brown was really like light tan. It wasn't like the normal dark brown that you normally see on browns. It had the red dots, red spots on them, but nothing too crazy. I did have one that was really really nice size but uh, he ended up going underneath the boat and he ended up shaking off the lure unfortunately it's the way fishing goes apparently but it was still overall a nice day but anyways guys we'll get to it and hopefully we'll be getting some footage for you today some catching some trout or some browns so anyways we'll see you guys soon drag. Did you set it? Possibly fish number two. This one goes too, guys. A little too small. Oh, yeah. Too small. Well, he was a keeper, but too small for us. Guys, it's a little nipply out here when the sun goes away.
We're gonna be, uh, hey guys, so I apologize, but we're actually calling it a little early. We have that starting to head in. And uh, we're not gonna about to get caught out in a thunderstorm or rain. We are not prepared for that. Uh, we don't have any rain gear. We have no warm clothes. It's best just to call it. We're gonna actually head to a lower lake. Uh, hopefully it'll be a lot warmer down there and hopefully we won't be dealing with the clouds, but uh, we'll see you guys in a little bit. <sighs> What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? I deeply apologize, guys. Um, if we had the proper gear, we would probably would have stayed. But we have, we're literally, I'm, I mean, I'm wearing freaking shorts. My dad is wearing pretty much a shorts shirt. We have no rain gear, no rain jackets. And we don't want to take that chance of getting caught out in the rain. Um, it has nothing to do with being in the rain, but it is actually pretty cold up here, not gonna lie. Uh, we caught two, I mean, caught two fish. Just for the short time we were on the lake, we were on the lake for an hour, but I just wish we were a little better prepared. But we're gonna head down the hill. Um, if anything, we're gonna stop at Shaver Lake, see if what the conditions are down there. Uh, if it's nice and sunny and warm, we'll probably go and probably get on the lake and probably troll for a couple hours on there. But uh, it is just way too cold up here for us right now. We're just not prepared for this. It, it was kind of our fault. We should have thought about this before we left, but um, it is what it is. So uh, either way, it's a good trip right out of town. But hopefully we're gonna see you at uh, Shaver Lake. Uh, if anything, I'll probably do some, maybe do a video when I get down there and stuff like that, but we'll figure it out. So it's gonna be kind of, kind of winging it today. So we'll hopefully see you in a bit. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? We are on Shaver Lake now. Um, weather looks phenomenal. That's all coming to us. It's at least 70 degrees, a lot warmer than it was back at the other lake we were at. I mean, we were freezing our horses off. Like, not trying to sound like wimps or anything, but it was cold. Uh, but we're now at Shaver, another known lake that we always come to. And we were like, you know what, let's jot down, check it out. And so far we are very happy about being out here. We don't know how the fishing's gonna be, it is a little bit cloudy right now, but it's supposed to get a little sunny. We've always done pretty good here trolling, so hopefully we'll get some more footage of you guys' fish. We caught two at Colwright, so can't complain. This is actually the first time we've actually hopped lakes. So, but uh, we're gonna do some trolling. I don't have my other GoPro, guys. My other GoPro ended up, died. I don't know why. I must've actually left it on. So we're gonna have this one GoPro but I'm gonna try to do my best to get as much footage as I possibly can of fishing and catching. Uh, what I'll end up doing is have my dad film uh, and then while I'm reeling in one and then I'll have me film as he's reeling in one. So uh, we'll figure that out when the time comes. But beautiful, beautiful lake. I'm pretty sure most of you uh, from Fresno or from California know this lake that are in that vicinity. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and shut off the camera to save some battery and we'll hopefully see you guys in a minute. Hopefully catch some fish. Peace out. Super huge, but healthy. Oh, he's healthy one. Oh, you lift him. Yep, perfect. Good sport. All right, guys, look at that. Look at that baby. Woohoo! Yeah, baby. He's at least a good 18, 17 inch. So it's a green, lime green, lime green spinner, and then I have a decent leader. And I'm using a lime green orange with a worm on it. Got another one, guys. Let's go. Remember, you got the back. Back, uh, oh, didn't even know that. Back. Didn't even know that. Let's go, guys. Not, not definitely not super big, but he's a fish. But he's definitely a fish. Definitely still on there. Hopefully, he stays on there. That's the, the problem. Is we got the we got the single hook, so we have to be very cautious. What's the red blinking light on the left? He just fucking came off. Are you kidding? Oh, he just came off. <laughs> Man. So far, it's been pretty good. Um, I had one. I really do not like single hooks. Because if you don't get them properly hooked, they just they can just whip themselves right out of that hook. 
So right now I'm trying something kind of odd. I put on a silver spoon with a worm on the end of it. I've heard of people doing this before and it's actually worked before in the past. So uh, we do a cast master. It's kind of it's a, like a silver spoon. It's like a cast master. It's got a the same. Hook, yeah, basically the same thing. So I'm trying this out just to see what happens. Uh, we've caught we've caught at least four fish total. I mean, either way, if we don't catch anything for the rest of the day, it's still a nice day. We finally got some cloud cover. That clouds that we saw from uh, Court Wright has finally made its way over here. But uh, 1130. 11:30, so 11:30. It's it's about getting that time. Uh, Refresh, edit. So we came back from Court Right. Uh, it seems the clouds have actually followed us uh, to Shaver, but I tell you what, the temperature is just a lot better. It's been like 70 compared to 49, 48. And uh, but I tell you what, I mean, even just being out here has been super nice. It's been relaxing. It's been a beautiful day. Yeah, I mean. It's been 70 degrees, we got some finally some cloud cover. It was actually getting really hot with the sun. We were actually debating on jumping in the water or not. Uh, but we're going to chill for quite a while longer and uh, hopefully we get some more fish for you guys besides the one we just caught. Uh, I did catch one earlier this morning, uh, or not this morning, but early when we got here and it was we just released it. It, was, it wasn't really worth putting on camera. Yeah, you probably saw it, but wasn't that super big but hopefully we'll catch a big one for you guys that's that's kind of what we're going for at this point and uh we'll we'll see what happens so we'll see you hopefully shortly still yeah you're swimming are you on there i think so you're swimming pick it up fast too. Yeah. Going 2.4. It was right when I sped up. Yeah. Yeah, he's off. Oh, false alarm guys. He did have one. Well, but it feels freaking heavy. Well, you'll know if it starts freaking jerking. Live well's ready. Let's go, guys! Woo! First one, second one in the boat. Yes! Yes! Do, 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 do. Pretty sure. You gotta be positive. Off again. Yeah, you got your freaking worm. Oh yeah. Dude, you want a little bit of worm hanging off. Yeah, I know. <clears throat> a little bit. Well. Shake the hook. Relax. It's actually a pretty decent sized yeah. one. Relax. 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 It's 
probably the biggest one in the car. I seen that Son of <laughs> What's up guys? Calling it today. We're headed back in now. We're kind of trolling our way back in. It was a nice relaxing day. We're probably gonna go to the boat launch, launch out the boat, take the boat out, just probably relax for a little bit. Enjoy the mountains while we can. Then we're eventually gonna head home, probably into town. Uh, so if you don't see any footage from here till then, uh, I definitely will see you guys on the next adventure it's been a fun day it's been a relaxing day got some cloud cover as you can see it's been kind of gloomy pretty much all day long we had some sun when we first got here but it's been gloomy almost all day so a nice relaxing day though caught a couple fish so we probably caught a total of five throughout the day so anyways guys we'll hopefully see you on the next adventure and you guys have a good rest of your week. Peace out. Goodbye.